Hello and welcome to Bradford Cathedral. As you may not be able to visit us at the moment, we thought we'd bring Bradford Cathedral to you instead and show you some of the interesting details of the cathedral. If there is anything that you want to know about Bradford Cathedral and you've always wondered about, then perhaps you could email us and we'll hopefully include it in a future excerpt. William Scoresby, Arctic explorer and vicar of Bradford Parish Church from 1839 to 1847. William Scoresby was the captain of a whaling ship and an Arctic scientist and discoverer. He was the son of a master mariner and he became a distinguished sailor and Arctic explorer. William Scoresby was born at the village of Cropton, 20 miles southwest of Whitby. He was a son of a whaling captain also called William Scoresby. At the age of 13, he started to accompany his father to the Greenland whaling grounds. In 1806, he enrolled at Edinburgh University to study chemistry and natural philosophy. His lecturers urged him to carry out research in the polar regions. At 21, he got his first command and brought back to Whitby from the Arctic the produce of 30 whales. On voyages between 1815 and 1822, he made observations and experimented with improvements to the magnetic compass. And in an exhibition of the British Association in 1836, showed the compass needle of his own invention. Scoresby's compass, being such a great improvement, was taken into use by the Admiralty his magnetic instruments, manuscripts and books are amongst the most highly prized exhibits in Whitby Literary and Philosophical Society's Museum in Pannett Park. William Scoresby was ordained in 1826 and in May 1839 he became the Vicar of Bradford. Scoresby opposed child labour and the long hours worked by mill workers. He was unpopular with mill owners. In his parish of 120,000 people, there was no provision for the education of the poor, and so he set up schools in the parish, and by the time he left Bradford, there were 1,500 scholars and 1,200 Sunday scholars. Scoresby took up the cause of the poor, building eight day schools. He drew up proposals to rid the town of smoke, pollution and bad housing. He tried to improve the social and moral conditions of factory workers. By 1847, his health had diminished and he retired. An extra interesting fact about the Scoresby family is that his father, William Scoresby Sr., is said to have invented the crow's nest. 